Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen what is a star algorithm, what are the advantages and disadvantages of a star algorithm. One of the problem in a star algorithm is the huge requirement of memory. To solve this problem, there are many memory bounded heuristic search techniques like IDA star algorithm and recursive best first search algorithm. IDA star stands for iterative deepening a star algorithm. It is a variant of depth first search algorithm and therefore it has a lower memory requirement as compared to the a star algorithm. It is also similar to iterative deepening depth first search algorithm which we have discussed in the uninformed search technique. In iterative deepening depth first search we were continuously iterating a traversal from starting node to the goal node for various depth limits and uh, we were gradually increasing the depth limit so that we get various traversals. Similar to that, we also do the same thing in iterative deepening. Uh, the only change is we don't fix the depth limit. Instead of having the depth limit, we have we take the scores of f of n, which is equivalent to g of n and h of n, where g of n is the cost incurred to reach to the node from the starting node and h of n is the estimated cost from the current node to the goal node. So we take the summation of that and uh, use that as a cutoff to whether to iterate or whether to go deeper or not. If you remember in the depth for iterative depth, iterative deepening depth for search, we use depth limit as a cutoff. If it reaches the depth limit, we don't go deeper anymore. So in the same way, here f of n is used as the cutoff if it uh, crosses a particular uh, threshold we don't go further deeper into that tree so just to re rewind what we have seen in iterative deepening depth first search we had various depth limits and we were traversing uh, based on the depth limit if the depth limit is zero we only traversed a if it is 1, we traverse A, B, C, D and if it is 2, A, B, E. So we go in the form of depth first search until we reach to the depth limit and then we will go to the adjacent nodes as if we don't uh, have any other nodes deeper than the depth limit. But if you see IDA star algorithm, it considers f of n as the cutoff. So let us see with an example of how IDA star algorithm works. Let us consider a node starting node A with f of A is equal to 2 and f of B and having two children B and C with uh, f of B is equal to 4 and f of C equal to 5. As I have said earlier, we use f of n as the threshold to see whether to pursue further deeper or not. So here we start with the threshold as 2 which is equivalent to the first node root node and uh, here the threshold is equal to 2 we try to pursue the children. So the main algorithm in iterative IDA star algorithm is whenever the threshold whenever the f of n value becomes more than the threshold we stop pursuing further deeper. So we keep on check if the f of n values are less than or equal to threshold. Only if it is less than or equal to threshold, we pursue deeper. If it is once, if it once becomes greater than the threshold, we don't pursue that particular path. So here f of threshold is 2 and it's both children b and c has f of n 4 and 5 which means that f of n is greater than the threshold so we don't pursue any more of its children so this is the first iteration so in the second iteration so we say once we say that f of n values are greater than threshold we say that those nodes are pruned which means that we have truncated their children uh, for further uh, pursuing so among these pruned nodes we take the node which has the lowest f of n and consider that as the threshold for the next iteration here f of b is equal to 4 and f of c is equal to 5 so b has lower cost which is 4 so next threshold for the next iteration would be 4 
So if you take the second iteration, we once again start from the node A. If you remember in the iterative deepening depth first search, we keep on repeat from the starting node. So here also in the iteration 2, we start our threshold currently is 4. We start with node A. Here the node A f of A is equal to 2 threshold equal to 4 so f of n is less than threshold so we can pursue it so b and c both f of b is equal to 4 which is equivalent to threshold still we can pursue the path so we go deeper and the children of b are d and e d has a f of n value 5 which is greater than threshold so we don't pursue the children of d f of e has 4 so we can pursue the children of e which is f and g f and g has f of n value 8 and 7 both f of n values are greater than threshold so we don't further pursue it so as we, uh, if we observe it we are going deeper only if the f of n values are less than or equal to threshold once f of n crosses the threshold we go, don't go further deeper so instead of using depth limit as what we have done in iterative deepening depth for search we are using f of n as the threshold uh, to uh, go deeper uh, into the nodes so once we have completed node b we try to see node c but node c has uh, f of n value greater than the threshold so we don't pursue the children of uh, node c so this is a second iteration once we go to the third iteration so if you see the in the second iteration the pruned nodes are d f g and c and f of n values for d f g and c are 5 8 7 5 among these the lowest value is 5 so the threshold for the next iteration would be 5 so in iteration 3 we have threshold equal to 5 here we will be starting once again from the starting node which is a f of a is 2 its children are b and c which are uh, less than or equal to threshold f of n values are less than or equal to threshold so we pursue both b and c children uh, B has children D and E and both D and he, E has f of n value less than threshold so we once again pursue it but once again H, I, F and G are having f of n values greater than threshold so we don't pursue the children of those nodes. Once again coming back to node C we have children as J and K but their f of n values are greater than threshold which is 5 so we don't pursue J and K. So once again the nodes H, I, F, G, J and K are pruned here and among these the lowest f of n value is uh, f of j which is equal to k, a 6 and we will use this as the threshold for the next iteration. So for iteration 4 here the threshold is 6 so we once again start from the node A so node A has children B and C and uh, we go on until we reach to the point uh, H, I, F, G, both all those four nodes have f of n values greater than the threshold so we don't pursue it but if you see the node C, node C has node J and uh, J, f of J is equal to 6 so we can pursue it so we got children L and M which has 6 and 8 as uh, f of n values so L has f of n, f of n equal to threshold so we can pursue it so we have node N and O once again f of n values of n and o are greater than threshold so we can't pursue those nodes so in this way uh, and we also have k which is also equal to 6 which is equivalent to the threshold so we can pursue the path p and q but f of n values of p and q are greater than threshold so we don't pursue further so in this way slowly we have increased depth wherever the f of n values are within the limits of the threshold so this is the fourth iteration and uh, the pruned nodes are H, I, F, G, N, O, M, P and Q. Among these P has f of n value lowest which is 7 so that will become the threshold for the next iteration. So if you see the next iteration which is iteration 5 uh, here the threshold is 7 and we pass through once again in the same way here now node i is also expanded because f of n of our node i is 7 which is equivalent to threshold so we got r and s so f of r equal to 2l and f of s equal to 14 which are way above than threshold so we don't pursue it 
and we can also see the node G which is the child of node E is also pursued because f of n for f of G is 7 so we got T and U so f of n values for T and U are greater than threshold so we don't pursue it and if you also see we also pursued the node P which is f of P is equal to 7 which is equal to threshold so we got V and W whose nodes are once again above than threshold so in this way we have completed iteration 5 and we have pruned nodes as h r s and f t u n o m v w and q among these m and f and h has um, f of n value very less so we take that as the threshold for the next iteration so for the final iteration, iteration 6, the threshold is 8 and uh, we pass through once again node A, B, C, D, E and we pass through until, uh, to we, until we reach to the leaf nodes. So if, if you can see uh, the node U which has f of n value equal to 8 but we don't have any more further children so we stopped it and once again we went to M and node M has f of n value 8 which is equal to the threshold so we pursued node x and y once we see the node x we have reached the goal uh, x so in, in this way we are neither going deeper and deeper uh, just as in depth for search or not limited by a particular fixed depth value which is usually done in depth limited search or not neither we are actually pursuing in an iterative way with fixed depth limit which is done in iterative depth depth iterative deepening depth for search in this method we are using f of n values to decide whether to pursue deeper or not so this is the algorithm of ida star at any point of time we only need that particular uh, node path values uh, from the initial state to the goal state to be remembered so in this way we only need the memory in the form of a uh, very limited memory uh, so that is the advantage which we get as compared to the a star algorithm so if you see the overall summary of the algorithm the important step is node for uh, step four which is if at all if f of n values are greater than the current uh, the threshold you need to prune that nodes and choose the the f of n value of the nodes which have got pruned lowest f of n value and use that as the threshold for the next iteration so this is the algorithm and if you see the complete uh, implementation uh, since it is a variant of depth for search and we usually use recursive functions for depth for search here also you can see the function search is called once again repetitively in a recursive way uh, the important point to note is there is this path so this path remembers the nodes uh, which have been successfully pursued and there is a possibility uh, for reaching the goal node and uh, if you see in the second uh, function uh, in the for loop we have path dot push which means that we are pushing a node into that path and later if it is succeeding uh, we say it is found if it is not succeeding which means that if it comes until the last we are once again popping out which means that all the nodes which have been stored which are, are also removed if it is if they don't give successful path towards goal node so we also have here we are calling threshold as bound and uh, we try to keep on check if the goal node is reached if it is reached we say it found if it is not reached we pursue deeper and deeper until the bound if f of n values are within the bound you pursue deeper and deeper if it is not we try to uh, go back to the other nodes so in this way ida star algorithm works uh, and uh, these are some of the other aspects uh, complexity analysis so like a star a ida star is also guaranteed to find the sh shortest path so if the heuristic search function h is admissible which means that your heuristic function value never overestimate than the current values uh, which we have uh, so that overestimation should not happen in such cases we can say that it is going to find the 
shortest path and uh, it requires only a linear uh, memory uh, so the memory requirement has been greatly reduced as compared to a star algorithm and uh, and the compared to brute force search uh, it also reduces the search space because we are pruning the nodes for further going deeper and there are other algorithms like recursive best for search which is somewhat faster than ida star in practice and these are many uh, have many applications in uh, planning problems and one of the example for applying ida star is the rubik's cube problem and uh, this is usually applied to solve the rubik rubik's cube uh, problem so in the next video we are going to see the recursive best for search algorithm and we will complete the informed search techniques. Thank you.